What is up everybody? If you're new to this channel, my name is Shaq and today is Tech Tuesday, so we're gonna run that intro right now. All right, so now that we're back from that intro, today what we're doing, unboxing of the Sonos One. That is right, we are talking about the Sonos One, not the Play One, the Sonos One. The one that ships with Amazon Alexa built into it. Honestly, spoiler alert, phenomenal speaker. Here we go, babies. We have our Sonos right here, ready to be opened up. Let's get that sticker off. Oh, baby. Ooh, look at this. You get a nice little uh, pamphlet here, it says Sonos. Get the Sonos app on, that's probably a good idea. Let me do that right now. Sonos, boop, and boom. First one, Sonos controller. Come back to that in a bit. Put the phone down. All right, so we get the Sonos app, some info. We'll, uh, take a look at this later. Should be good. Do -do -do. Let's get this in. All right, now let's get to that good stuff. No, 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 no way. They, they have a sticker. Oh my god. Oh, this is heavy. It says, um, before opening this bag. Okay. Uh, so basically, it's terms of license and agreement. Okay, well, I opened it, so I guess I agree. Oh my god. This is so much nicer than the actual Play Ones. You have, like, the tactile feedback and whatever up here. Play, pause. Oh my god. The microphone button. Let's take a look. Oh, no. Sticker. Ooh. Oh, you can you can see the oh, oh, oh my lord! You got the power button here, I think. Infinity. I know what it is, but this is oh marvelous. At the bottom here, the powers. Uh, Sonos One, uh, serial code and stuff. It's beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I love the way this looks in the light. Just ooh. I'm gonna have to get some major view on this. get this guy connected up to the Sonos application. Okay, so we're just gonna go and hit the standard setup and one black, perfect. Okay, so press the connect button on the Sonos one. So it's not that hard to connect this system. It's fairly easy. Uh, I just named this bedroom. Uh, not now. All right, so registering the product. Tick tock, tick tock. Shoe play, sure, you know what, why not? Begin tuning. So I just gotta walk around my room and just wave this around like a madman. Okay. So what I'm going to be doing right now is basically going into more depth of what we kind of went through in the installation, sorry, the setup of the speaker where I didn't really speak much about it, but I will right now. So don't worry. So number one, true play tuning, what is it and how does it work? So true play tuning is tuning your Sonos one to the environment around you. And the way it works is you're gonna take out your phone. When you're doing the setup, it's gonna ask you to do it. So you're just gonna say yes. And it gives you a 30 second video of how to do it. And it's very, very kind of like, you know what to do because it's right in front of your face. What it is is that your Sonos speaker plays some sounds out. You're gonna walk around your room or wherever you put your speaker in with your phone upside down. It tells you to flip your phone upside down. So don't worry about messing up. You have on-screen directions to follow. So what you do after that is you're just gonna wave your phone up and down along the walls of your room. Don't forget to get behind your speaker as well because it is a 360 degree speaker that you will need to, you know, kind of calibrate, tune, whatever you want to call it. And what this kind of does is when you have sound coming out of a source like the speaker, what happens is it's going to hit a wall eventually and it's going to bounce back. And when that sound is bouncing back, it is going to cancel with the sound going towards it. And what this does is it diminishes the quality of the audio that you have. So by doing the tuning, it's gonna, I'm not sure exactly on how it works, but they have some kind of technology where it'll counteract that kind of noise cancellation between itself because of the walls in the room and whatnot. So number two is setting up your Amazon Alexa. So what you wanna do before you set up your Sonos app is download the Amazon Alexa app and go through the setup there. And then once you're done with that, hop over to the Sonos and do that right there because everything's already done for you on the Amazon Alexa app. 
So you're just gonna sit right on the Sonos app and go through the entire setup process from start to finish. And it's one of the best ways to set up your Sonos One. Number three is price. The price of the Sonos One in Canadian dollars is $250. If you're looking at the Google Home, the big one that I have right behind my shoulder over here, that one is $180 if I'm not mistaken, Canadian once again. There's about a $70 difference between the two and the audio quality, trust me, is worth it. And the other thing is that Sonos has plans to integrate Google Assistant by the middle of the year 2018 to the end of the year. So that's not too far away. And if you're willing to wait a little bit and deal with Amazon Alexa, I would do that, you know, because the sound quality between the two, there is honestly a huge, huge difference. I honestly was impressed with the Google Home. So if you're not someone that really cares about the audio difference between the two and you just want like a smart speaker to casually listen and not have the best listening experience, I would go with the Google Home and save the 70 bucks and maybe buy a Google Home Mini as well to put somewhere else in your house. But if you want to get the best listening experience as well as a smart assistant, which in, in my opinion is gonna be a lot better than what you're gonna get with the the Google Home, which you're kind of stuck with Google Home. With Amazon Alexa and Google Assistant together, you have the power of both of them. You can get Amazon grocery shopping stuff and all of the Amazon features are built in. And then if you have Google directions, if you need directions, Google Assistant's amazing on it. Touch controls. I'm not the biggest fan of it. It's very cool how they kind of integrate it into it, but I don't like the, the swiping. It's, it's kind of non-functional sometimes. It doesn't work sometimes, sometimes it does work. It's kind of bipolar like that, with me at least. But nonetheless, it is a very, very, very nice looking speaker. Another thing about Sonos is their application is, is a very well set up application. It's pretty easy to navigate through and work with. And I so far have not had too many problems with it. The Google Home app is a kind of like, eh, here's some stuff, have fun with it. Not gonna say that one's better than the other, but they're both pretty good. Number, I lost count of what I was at. So number whatever, the design. I find the Sonos design absolutely beautiful. It's a little bit bulkier and bigger than the Google Home, but it is a lot, a lot nicer in the way they built it. It has a beautiful kind of metallic finish on it. The colors are like impeccable on it. The Google Home is kind of eh when you look at it in comparison, but the Google Home is still a very, very nice option. I believe I mentioned the sound quality on the two, between the two of the Google Home and the Sonos. And there is a big, big difference. There is a very big difference. I would play it on camera for you guys, but the thing is that you won't really hear much of a difference through the microphone, as well as if you're actually in person listening to it. So what I would suggest is going to, I don't know, like, you use Best Buy or whatever store that would carry the two of them and kind of listen to one, then go and listen to the other one and decide for yourself on which one you think sounds better. In my eyes, I can see a lot more potential with the Sonos one than I would with the Google Home. So that's why I would kind of recommend the Sonos one over the Google Home. So that is all for me for today. If you wanna check out these two guys here, the Google Home and the Sonos, I'll have a link down below in the description. So leave a like if you enjoyed it and it does make a difference. If you wanna see more content, subscribe and I will have lots more stuff coming your way. Tech stuff, photo stuff, video stuff, editing, all of that fun stuff will be coming to this channel. I have a lot of plans, maybe a couple of vlogs here and there. Uh, I'll have to test that out. I'm not too much into vlogging yet. I'll leave a comment down below and I will see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah, and tell me what you guys think about the 4K in this video. I made my first 4K video of like myself and uh, yeah, I just wanna know what you guys think. So I'll see you guys in the next video like I just said.